Hello, welcome and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine video. Today, I wanted to do fishing, but it also came out to be like a system similar to Raft's hook system. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, we're going to get started with the first person project here with a, of course, the interface for the first person character because that's where our component is going to sit. It's going to sit like a little bit of offset here for our fishing component. Whatever looks good on the camera is kind of what I went with. So for the assets, there's just two two simple assets here. We have a fishing rod and a fishing pole. The fishing lure has collision and simple material, and that's basically it. The fishing pole has a socket, and that's it. No collision for just easy purposes. So the fishing lure here, the actual actor itself, is going to have an as fishing lure uh, interface. It will have a component. This component is going to be a buoyancy component, which is just going to you know, bob the bob the fishing lure. So the fishing lure itself is just a default projectile from this starter project, just shrunken down and mm, re like fixed up a little bit. It the sphere here does simulate physics with a linear and angular dampening of 1.5, so that the actual thing actually does slow down. So it's not infinitely bouncing uh, with this buoyancy component. So the so the projectile here it sets up our speed on the construction script, and the speed is a it's insensible, exposed on spawn. It'll get controlled by the uh, by the fishing component. So in the buoyancy or lure component here, it has one function, and this one function is just going to be a setter for these two these two params. These are kind of needed beforehand, so this gets fixed. Uh, this gets set up in the fishing volume, but this is necessary to understand like what we're doing in the event graph here. So in the event graph on the begin play, we'll save our fishing lure through our interface. We'll do a crazy monkey special of update time and timer handle. Nice. And this is just going to go through and update buoyancy. So it's going to check to see whether or not our fishing volume is in fishing volume true or false. If it's true, we'll add an impulse. If it's false, we won't do anything. So when we add this impulse, what we're going to do is we're going to take the up Z direct up Z and we'll take this difference. So this entry point is a snapshot of where the fishing lore entered the fishing volume. And that's going to be set in the volume on begin overlap. We'll see that in a second. So it takes the Z vector and basically uh, does the difference and then calculates a buoyancy based on that and then pulls it to the surface of the water, or fishing volume in this case. And that's going to be our buoyancy component. Now, in our fishing volume, so the fishing volume is a simple actor. Yeah, so the fishing volume here lives here. The fishing volume is a simple box collision actor with overlaps, checking for that component, and then whether or not to run the update fishing volume params with that snapshot of that location on the begin overlap. So we're enabling or disabling buoyancy here whenever we enter that whenever a lure enters this fishing volume and for the fishing component itself so that's that'll take care of the lures so the fishing component itself this is very similar to a system that we did in the in a previous video where we attached attached a cable between two actors but instead in this case we're attaching it between fishing pole and a projectile so one, one static. Now we have a handful of things here. Uh, we have the lore class we have that we're going to be using. We have the first person character. We have the fishing line socket that we're going to attach our cable to. So this will be a socket on this uh, static mesh component that's set up for, to use our fishing pole. We'll have default transform. And that default transform will get set up in the begin play along with our rotation here. We'll have our rod line, which will be, or our throw strength, which will be a counter when we charge up our throw and release. We've got our cable component. We've got a minimum rod angle that we're going to set up right here. You can see here we set up, this is basically pushing it forward. And then that's where we save the transform. We've got a maximum rod angle. So this is how far we're going to pull it back. We've got the strength that we're going to pull it in with. We've got the minimum and maximum strength. These are multipliers for how far we're going to throw. We've got the fishing lure itself, the actual reference. We've got a base speed that we're going to shoot the projectile at. We've got the basic pickup range. We've got the material that we're going to use for the fishing line. And we've got a fishing line width. So those are just our basic uh, variables here, and we can get started. We have two action keys here, and these action keys are special in that the, the inputs are, they're copied from the jump. The action key one here is set to hold and release, and so is action key two. Action key one, you can make it whatever, and action key two, you can make it whatever you want. I've named it action key one and two as placeholders, but they are mapped to E and R for reeling in on E, or no, reeling in on R and throwing on E. So when we throw on E for this action key one, we're going to check to see if we already have one uh, fishing lure out. If we do, we'll destroy it. And then on the ongoing, so while we're ongoing, we will, between zero and one seconds, we will set the rotation of 
our component, our fishing rod, between this minimum and maximum angle. We're lerping the angle between zero and one seconds with this, and then we're just making that the rotator and setting it to rotation. Then between that, we'll send it through another mapping here, and we're going to map it between the minimum and maximum strength, and this is going to be then the throw strength for our multiplier for our projectile. So we get a we get to get a ratio of how of how far we pulled it back versus how far we can throw it. So if we pull it all the way back, we can throw it the farthest. On completed or canceled, we'll reset the transform to the default transform, and we're going to spawn our lure. And we're going to spawn it at our socket location on our fishing rod with the rotation of our first person camera. And that's what this is doing, the make rotation from X and Y. It's going to take the socket location and then point our actor in the direction of this first person camera. So that's how we can get it to fire in like the in the area that we're looking. And then we're going to take this lower base speed and we're just going to multiply that by the throw strength. So how far we've pulled it back is going to be how far we can throw it. The next step would be just to promote that to a variable. And we are going to attach a cable component to that projectile. And this is where we're going to do it. We're just going to add the cable component right right to this fishing lure. We're going to set that material. We're going to set the width. We'll set the attach end to component at this socket. And yeah, because our component itself is our fishing rod basically here. So fishing pole with our socket. No offset on the end location. So we'll just reset. So we'll set that to zero and we'll just set the visibility. And that's what we're doing. We just, we uh, we pull back and we snap forward and spawn a projectile uh, with a cable attached to it. And that's a fishing rod, I guess, right? That is a fishing rod. <laughs> and so, okay, now on the real in, when we do ongoing, because we were holding it, we're going to pull the fishing location. So the fishing lures location with our current location. And we're going to find the look at rotation, get, the, get its forward vector. And we have a strength here, a fishing rod strength. So this is the strength that we're pulling it in at 100 multiplier. And this will pull our fishing lure to us from wherever it is. And here we go. Uh, we have a distance if it's within this pickup range. So if these two locations are within this pickup range, we'll destroy the actor. Here is where you could check to see if anything is attached to the actor and like take the materials or put it in your inventory, things like that. So that's our release or reel in our throwback our pullback and release or pullback and uh, throw. So let's see it in action. So we see we have the fishing rod here on our character is pointing forward 45 degrees. We can pull it back and throw it. We can pull it back a little bit and it doesn't throw as far. We can pull it back even less. We can pull it back like halfway and it has some okay speed. Stuff like that. Uh, Maybe playing around with the cable too. Uh, you might want to set the cable length, but it's kind of fun just to go. We woo. <laughs> uh, yeah. So R R can reel it in. We can see this. We'll throw it out, and we'll just pull it back in. Zoop. Come with me. In here, we've got a nice little fishing volume. I put the fishing volume and blocked it off with these cubes, and so we can see we can see bounces, bobs, and bounces until it reaches. It just sits there. We can, of course, pull it along, and it'll, it'll bob and bounce. There might be also some case for um, for adding maybe instead of on R on whatever the distance our socket is from that, uh, from that thing. So, yeah, I mean, so that's great. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a little wider. I mean, I like this. This is pretty fun. Uh, we can pull it back. We can toss it into the sky. We can toss it over here. We can just let it fall. Maybe play around with yeah the cable. It gets stuck over there. Just toss it. Woo. Yeah, toss it in the fishing volume. And yeah, if if this was to if we were to let's say um have some things uh like sitting in this volume, fishing volume, floating or whatever, and this projectile enter uh like comes into contact with it, we can have it like snap to this fishing fishing lure, and then when it gets to us we can go yoink, yummy materials. And then we can throw it back out and we can be like yummy materials so let's actually see that so what would that actually look like um i did set up i did set up an alternative alternative level here i did import ultra dynamic sky and oceanology so i also may have may have not have i uh, may may have not hmm. uh anyone have like what what is it thalassophobia uh fear of the ocean or whatever uh hope not because we're going fishing and i hope we catch something or i hope we don't catch something because who knows what's down there well i do because it's my project but uh um 
Yeah, um, we jump in? Oh, I wanna just jump in? Oh, yeah, we can pull it in too. Yeah. Should we, should we, should we jump in and see? Oh, you, you wanna, you wanna, 